Have you ever dreamed of finding a real diamond in nature? In today's video, I'll guide you step by step on how to search for diamonds in the wild, especially in rocky and mineral rich areas like Burkhania, and how to know if what you found is the real thing. Section 1 Where to Search First, let's talk about where to look. Diamonds are most commonly found in volcanic areas inside kimberlite pipes, which are ancient volcanic channels that brought diamonds from deep within the earth to the surface. In places like Burkhania, which is known for its rocky terrain and mineral activity, look near riverbeds, gravel deposits, and dry erosion zones. Pay attention to places with dark, heavy minerals, such as magnetite, garnet, and olivine, because diamonds often travel with these indicator minerals. Number two, what to look for. Now, what does a raw diamond actually look like? Many people expect the sparkling gem, but in nature, diamonds often look like small glassy stones. They may appear translucent, with a greasy or metallic shine. One key feature is their crystal shape. Most natural diamonds form in an octahedral shape. That means they look like two pyramids joined at the base. But here's the detail that can really help you. Triangular patterns on the surface, called trigons. These triangles are a natural fingerprint of real diamonds. The image you're seeing on screen shows exactly that, small, natural triangle patterns etched into the crystal. So how do you know it's the real deal and not quartz or another crystal? There are a few field tests you can try. Hardness test. Diamonds are the hardest known natural substance. They can scratch glass, metal, and even quartz. If your stone scratches a mirror or glass easily without being scratched itself, it could be a diamond. Transparency test. Place the stone over some text. If you can read the letters through it clearly, it's probably not a diamond. Fog test. Breathe on the stone like a mirror. If it stays foggy for a few seconds, it's likely fake. Real diamonds disperse heat quickly and should stay clear. UV test. Some diamonds fluoresce blue under UV light. Not always, but it's another sign to watch for. Remember, not all shiny stones are diamonds. Quartz, topaz, and zircon can look similar, but lack the unique hardness and crystal structure. If you're serious, you can carry a jeweler's loop, a scratch plate, and even a diamond tester to help you in the field. And finally, always document your finds. Take clear close-up shots like the one we're showing here. The triangle marks you see, these natural trigons, are one of the clearest signs that what you found could be the real thing. So, the next time you're out exploring nature, keep your eyes open. That small glassy stone in your hand could be one of the Earth's most precious treasures. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this. See you in the next adventure!